So one day I ordered these kangaroo shoes to make me run super fast. I took them upstairs, set them down, and then opened them up. These are cool. $250 I'll never get back. Dude, I should be able to run like a, a gazelle with these. That's what they say. These are heavy duty, bro. Is that safe in the rain though? Yeah, it's safe. Everything's safe in the rain. Ooh, they gave me a CD. I guess I'm like how to use them or something. Probably like a training course. Oh pads i'll probably wear a helmet so i don't die i've seen videos of people doing like backflips and stuff with these it's basically like a trampoline without a trampoline so you're just gonna like break your neck don't try this at home so then i picked them up carried them downstairs and into the garage and got a helmet and put it on my head so i didn't die and then i put the shoes on so sit down maybe to get it on i got them on now i just need to stand up and then i scooched over to a wall to try to pull myself up you're gonna take the bike rack. And with my first step, I crashed. Oh! These are harder than I thought. I think I need a montage. And then I scooted some more out to the driveway and my brother helped me up. Dude, you're so tall right now. I right, hold something. Dude, that is so cool. And then I headed for the streets. I don't think I'm stable. <laughs> I don't know how people do backflips in these. Holy crap, these things are hard to use. You think I'll be able to use them? Maybe I got like the wrong weight size. These are for like 200 pounds and I'm only 150 or something. Okay, ready for this? I'm gonna run. Oh boy, moment of truth. And I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, not really, I just cut my knees and hands. Maybe I should have had knee pads. I must be doing something wrong, I swear. Oh. Then my brother helped me back up so I could try this again. <laughs> you gotta walk before you can run. The basketball. Dude, dunk. Oh. Then I had the basketball and thought I'd be able to ball like an NBA player because I was so tall, you know? But yeah, not really. And after that, I went to the yard so I didn't break anything. It's hard to stand still. You almost have to be always on the move. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I fell, but I got back up and kept going because I'm a winner. <laughs> He looks like a Terminator. Like one of those, like, the prototype ones that haven't figured out how to walk yet. Then I fell down into a bush. And I tried to jump on the concrete and just fell again. Ah, my knees have to be bleeding. Not awful. Then I went inside to actually read the instructions. How the heck are you doing that, bro? Look at that. I read them and I figured out I was doing something wrong. Okay, so it turns out I just had these things raised too low so i had to raise them up because i'm too tall i guess so i put them back on to run better yeah <laughs> i went out to the road and it was already a lot easier, Ten times easier. i could kind of jump now and i could play basketball a little bit better yeah maybe not <laughs> i could definitely run a lot better <laughs> bro i don't know how nba players like keep the ball they gotta bounce it so high like mm -hmm. Oh baby! I'm an NBA star now. And I decided to see how fast I could run in them, pushing them to their limits. I don't know how fast that was. All the joggers on our street, they think they hot stuff. But what are they gonna do when they see this going by? And I saw a neighbor kid on their bike, so I challenged him to a race. Maybe I'm just not very good at it yet. I don't know. So I tested it out, me on foot versus my brother on moped to see how fast I run on foot. And it was about 12 miles per hour according to a speedometer. And after we finished that race, we tested it on stilts and we got the same exact reading. <laughs> not a waste of money, I promise. I love the game. That was very anti -clock. They ask me how I do it, and I say, I just got really long legs. And then I just mess around with the ball some more, putting it in the hoop, because that's what you do. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to let my brother try them. I'm try them. Yo, I can touch this part of my house. I'm like hecka tall right now, bro. Part of my house. I'm down here, house there. And then my brother got him on. That's one small step for man. 
big leap for mankind. This is scary. Scary crap. My brother made his way off the wall and into the street, but he just held on to another car and then another one. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to see what I can grab onto within a long, short distance. And he just walked to something else to hold on to. I'm going to stay on her trunk and get these things off me. All right, guys. I think this is it. I'm going to dip. One sec. Uh, be sure to like the video for my pain and subscribe. Turn on all your notifications by hitting that uh, bell. And uh, I'm out of here. And I just kept running. Anyway, this is the part where you click subscribe and go watch my other videos and like it. Thank you.